November, Shanghai's Bund. A humanoid arrives on foot after 106.286 kilometers, and it didn't shut down once. How did a machine outwalk most humans? Legally crossing streets, navigating brick and asphalt without collapsing? The answer hides in two words, endurance engineering. Humanoid robots have become cyber superstar in China and expedition A2 from ADI Boat. Stay with this investigation. Agibot's A2, its hot swap battery ritual, dual GPS, LiDAR, and infrared depth sensing, and what the company describes as cerebellar balance control, cited as laying a foundation for large-scale deployment. Agibot has even signaled a push toward 1,000 units on an aggressive timeline. If a robot can do this today, the next question is simple. What kept it alive when batteries should have died hours earlier? The walk that shouldn't have worked is the one that did, in full view of a city that records everything. The route resisted uniformity. Asphalt roads, tiled walkways, bridges, tactile paving, and ramps each forcing quick recalibration while obeying traffic rules. It crossed intersections under signals, waited when it had to, threaded around pedestrians, and did it all under cameras and phones pointed straight at it. Public space is unforgiving. Errors become evidence. Outdoors, humanoids face a stack of failure modes, but here the evidence is specific. Stable perception had to persist day and night. The A2's sensor suite, dual GPS modules for macro positioning, LiDAR to trace edges and moving bodies, infrared depth to read surfaces in dim light, fed a continuous stream into its navigation stack. Overlap mattered because one blind spot, in glare or drizzle, could topple the whole attempt. The system stayed inside the lane lines of reality by cross-checking what each sensor missed. Endurance is not only a matter of watt hours, it's gait stability when one tile is slick and the next is high by a few millimeters. It's energy limits that punish heavy packs and thermal margins that narrow as motors warm. Most platforms hit a safety cutoff long before the city ends, but sustained, accurate sensing kept balance decisions trustworthy as conditions shifted. Stride logic carried the rest. Think of a tightrope with redundant guide wires. What Agibot describes as cerebellar balance control, reconciled noisy readings with foot placement on uneven tiles, absorbing micro-slips without overcorrection. Each step recalculated the next, not in grand gestures, but in small, constant biases that kept the torso over the support polygon. Prior feats proved burst performance, half marathon distances on closed courses, time boxed with recovery after. A2 ran an urban scale experiment in continuity, no shields, no staged resets, Power Discipline underwrote the march. By Agibot's account, a rapid hot-swap battery protocol allowed replacements without a full reboot, preserving processes in memory and preventing a collapse of balance control. Mission continuity survived the pause, so the walk never actually stopped. Stability and power laid the skeleton. Next, the anatomy that held posture, how structure, sensors, and the silent controller turned tens of thousands of steps into intention rather than chance. Now we open the casing and study what kept the cadence. Inside the machine, power management, senses, and the silent brain, the anatomy sets the stage. The platform moves through over 49 degrees of freedom, not as a show of complexity, but as a compendium of leverage. Drives shorten the elastic chain between motor and limb, and reducers shape torque where ground contact demands it. That force matters on curb edges and cambered tiles, places where underpowered joints slip, waste heat, and then surrender cadence. But more torque and more freedom invite instability. High gains amplify noise. Slack in one joint propagates to the next. Precision then becomes a real-time problem, not a mechanical one. The compute spine has to arbitrate every coupling fast enough to prevent oscillations from blooming into a stumble. Agibot's literature touts substantial headroom for perception and control across its lineup, but what matters here is budgeted latency rather than headline tops. That headroom is not vanity. It lets the controller fuse streams and still leave cycles for contingency, a stutter step when a toe clips a ridge or a halt when a stroller cuts across the path. Sensing forms the other half, 
The documented suite for this walk anchors on dual GPS modules for macro positioning, LiDAR for geometry and motion, and infrared depth for near-field range in dim or variable light. Each instrument has failure modes. Glare blinds a lens. Rain pings LiDAR returns. Noise masks audio. Overlap keeps perception continuous, so loss in one channel does not cascade into a fall. Safety governs the posture. A three-layer architecture achieving PLD-level protection sounds bureaucratic until you watch it step into public space. Interlocks constrain dangerous motion, diagnostics quarantine faults, and supervisory logic still authorizes an assertive gait when the corridor is clear. Perception and controlled force made each step precise. But autonomy in public also depends on a social interface that does not crumble under street noise and human unpredictability. Agibot frames this under its broader Work GPT stack, multimodal understanding across text, audio, and visuals, useful context, even if the walk's coverage did not hinge on specific statistics. With the nervous system defined, Attention shifts from components to cadence at scale. Who assembled this stack so quickly? And how did a newcomer compress the journey from debut to a Guinness mark while others counsel patients? The company behind the curtain is less a logo than a timeline. February 2023 to a public record with few pauses in between. The story starts inside a roadmap the company calls the Yuan Zheng series. In August 2024, a2 walks on stage with a mandate that sounds prosaic but cuts against convention. Service-first deployment. Not a lab-bound showpiece, an operator-facing unit built to live in front of crowds, follow rules, and keep time. That doctrine shaped the public march you saw earlier and explains why the company accepts scrutiny as part of engineering, not as a marketing stunt. Still, prevailing expectations in established markets pull the other way. The typical playbook says, iterate in sealed labs, then pre-announce, then seed pilots. Agibot inverts the sequence. It favors mass deployment and endurance trials in public, where failure is recorded and risk is real. The wager is straightforward. If a city route does not break the system, a customer floor likely won't either. Scaling requires intake. So they court an open ecosystem, the Lingxi X1 as a companion platform, and a growing Agibot World dataset to feed model training. More streams, more edge cases, faster iteration. Developers test behaviors. The model family digests outcomes. The robot returns with fewer blind spots. Like a reservoir fed by many inlets, capacity builds quietly until the current stabilizes. Manufacturing ambition anchors the rhetoric. A target of 1,000 humanoids by the end of 2024 signals confidence in supply chains, actuator yield, and assembly repeatability. It also implies a service network, spares, calibration jigs, diagnostics, that must exist before large customers sign anything. There's also context beyond one firm. Other Chinese teams have staged endurance proofs. In April, the Beijing Humanoid Robot Innovation Center's Tian Kung Ultra completed a 21-kilometer half marathon. The metric is unglamorous, but decisive. Distance under rules recorded in public. Inside this frame, Agibot's messaging is direct. Senior Vice President Wang Chuang says the A2's 106-kilometer walk proves the maturity of the robot's hardware, cerebellar balance algorithms, and endurance. Read that as a sales thesis and a posture toward scale. Fieldable units, not museum pieces. The record functions as a procurement argument and a systems audit at once. Which is why the next logical step is not another demo, but a pattern. What daily deployments look like when endurance and hot swap turn isolated feats into scheduled operations. Which means the next question isn't about spectacle, it's about scale. What comes after 106 kilometers is the move from a single proof to a stated push toward large-scale commercial deployment. Near-term deployments stay practical and visible. Service roles come first. 
museum greeters that hold position for hours, marketing units that tour exhibitions on a timetable, and public-facing guides that rely on predictable uptime. Access depends on documented safety. The three-layer architecture with PLD level protection, 360-degree LiDAR, and six HD cameras is not brochure language. It is the prerequisite for operating under lights, on slick floors, and beside families who will not yield space. Agibot's own messaging points to scale. The company has signaled an aggressive target toward 1,000 units on a near-term timeline and a plan for public-facing work rather than lab isolation. That intent pairs with what this walk demonstrated, continuity through hot swap, sensing that holds in crowds, and adherence to traffic rules across asphalt, bridges, tactile paving, and ramps. Hot swap endurance reshapes operations. Schedules begin to mirror human shifts, planned swaps at set intervals, no cold boots, and no loss of task state. With energy continuity, predictive maintenance becomes concrete. Run times, motor temperatures, and actuator acoustics form a stable baseline that flags drift before it becomes downtime. The lesson tracks with electric vehicles. Fast exchange beats long idles when throughput matters. Capability growth runs through software. Work GPT, Agibot's multimodal AI, already claims 96% understanding accuracy in noisy environments and a 99% face wake-up rate. In service roles, that means instructions heard, responses delivered, and engagement that survives the din of public venues. As deployments expand, more interactions feed the model family, closing gaps in perception and trimming false positives where seconds count. The ecosystem helps. Agibot's broader open approach, developer access via platforms like Lingxi X1, and contributions to Agibot World supports faster iteration, even if those tools sit adjacent to A2 rather than inside this specific record. The direction is consistent. More data, more edge cases, fewer surprises the next time a unit steps into a crowd. Think of it like adding reliable freight lines to a city map. When timing stabilizes, other systems start to lean on it. And that is the pivot to the core insight of this investigation. Not a single breakthrough, but the way multiple disciplines lock together to hold a line under pressure. So here is where the ledger closes. Guinness certified 106.286 kilometers, uninterrupted, an urban route under rules, documented end to end. That verified distance is the pivot. It marks a system that stayed powered through hot swap discipline and kept balance when small errors stack. In other words, a working platform that left the prototype stage on a public clock. If you follow mysteries that quietly rewrite the rules, subscribe. Then tell us in the comments, when humanoids become routine, which role should they take first? Guide, porter, or something you haven't seen yet? The next record won't be distance. It will be measured in hours, then days, logged, audited, and uneventful by design.